Welcome to the video by DJ SPRC. Today we have the Capra 1.9 or even 2.0. It depends how you call it. Uh, if you want more details on this vehicle, I do have a review I did on the channel. Just look up my uh, older videos. It is the four wheel steer Capra with the light bars and the lights in front. Uh, what was added to this vehicle is the front bumper with the winch. Yes, looking at it, the, the winch might be a little bit too big, but believe it or not, my uh, YouTube channel partner, he likes it. I like it too. I love the bumper. Uh, one of the reasons I love the bumper is basically, let's say you're trying to climb a, a rock and you do have a space in between. Instead of your diff hitting, you'll hit that bumper first. And believe it or not, metal on on rocks will slide. You're able to get out of that hole. But you probably did not tune in to watch this. Let's run this vehicle a little bit here in the uh, in the woods and see how it is. And yes, this vehicle can do crab. It's uh, 114 scale-ish, if I give or take. But again, it depends on what scale they grabbed it. Some people will say it's a one tent. Because I do have the axial uh, rate. Let's say we'd put it beside it. You would say the Capra is extremely small. But again, it depends on what scale they grab it from. For a brush motor, it still does have power. It still has speed to it. And uh, yeah, now, we did two modifications to it. Uh, front bumper and the winch on it. We might do another modification. It's changing to a servos for maybe 25 kilograms to have a little bit more torque to be able to turn those wheels. And the other modification will be done to this vehicle. That's a guaranteed. Still running stock tires on it. Stock tires on these rocks, they ain't worth Hey, I'm not going to say the word here. It ain't worth nothing. It's basically trying to drive a vehicle on uh, ice. They don't have grip. You're going to go up an incline. And basically your vehicle will just slide. <clears throat> but if you're looking for a smaller vehicle that has tons of options four wheel steer uh, you could do the uh, the dig on it if you wanted to you will need to open the transmission and install the components doable and it's not going to be expensive to do uh, the remote has already uh, no it doesn't have another channel that's right because the third channel has been used for the three the three wheel steer the four wheel steer but let's say you do upgrade your remote to a uh, Spectrum DX5 or DX6, you'll be able to do it. Same thing as my, my rate, that's a DX5 Pro that I have. I do have the dig and four wheel steer. But this one and this guy might be an option that we put a DX5C in it or even the DX5 Pro. Get to the point we have so many vehicles we're running out of remotes i think we're close to what 50 total 50 vehicles give or take and that's including boats
I like I was saying, if you're looking for a vehicle, I would recommend the Capra 1.9. It's fun. Uh, yes, you're running a smaller battery in it. I think it's a 1300 we have in it right now, but you'll be running uh, basically, yeah, 1300 tree cell. That's what's in it. But you'll be crawling, having fun for it, at least I would say close to two hours. Uh, in my rate, I have brushless power. It's a 5,000. And I do two hours plus with it. On a 1300, sometimes on smaller vehicles like this, a lot of people say, oh, this is not going to last. It'll last me 10 minutes. No, it's a crawler. They don't consume. If I remember correctly, it's a 20 turn motor in it. Brushed. Like I said, it has power, it has speed. Now, you're not going to do 45 miles an hour with it. You might do 10, 15 miles. Or if you want it in the Canadian, you'd be doing probably 15 or 20 kilometers. That's still fast. But one thing is definitely the next uh, upgrade will be the tires. Might go for some uh, IROX. And maybe a set of rims uh, to give it a little bit more weight to it. It's pretty light right now. And instead of doing a bunch of weights to it in the wheels, adding some aluminum rims will, give, will help you a lot. And for a crawler, it has a lot of flex. The only problem we have right now is the mosquitoes are biting. Damn. We just finished a series of heat waves and they're not dead yet. Sorry for the camera moving a lot around. I'm getting, I'm getting bitten left and right. And they're the size of golf balls, the mosquitoes. But yes, this is, like I said, the Axial Capra 1.9. Four wheels there. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them down below. I gladly answer you guys. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. I do appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. It does help the channel a lot. And we do appreciate it very much. Thank you for watching.